why I cheated again. First, let me say that my actions has nothing to do with you. So I would appreciate if some of you sisters out there that's listening to this confession would stop blaming yourselves. Stop driving yourselves into this emotional brick wall, slamming yourself, downing yourself, and beating yourself up with all of these different type of reasoning and excuses is why you have allowed me to do these things. You don't control me. You've never controlled me, the man, the male species. We do what we want to do when we want to do it. The key is finding an individual with integrity as far as to what he tells you, what he believes, and what he lives and stands for. That's something that you must seek in a man as a man is seeking certain qualities in you. So why I cheated again? There's no new reason. The same reason why I cheated last time. See, some of us men, not all of us, but enough of us, we have this fascination with doing the wrong things. We love that thrill. We love that adventure. It's an excitement trying to get away, living on the edge, moving fast, and trying to see how much we can do without getting caught. It's kind of like that cops and robbers thing. We know that if we go rob a bank, there's a possibility of us getting caught. But it's also the excitement of what if we don't get caught? And so there's another fascination with the other woman because as men, we obsess over things. So then when we see something new, we look at something different. And depending upon the type of man that we are, we have these fatal obsessions with attraction to something that we know we're really not supposed to have. Not to mention there is a select few of us who really aren't interested in you as a female anyways, but because of the social society and because of how things are, we have to impress family, friends, and other ones, and also our jobs, our careers, etc. So we pretend to be interested in a woman when the truth is some of those men are only interested in men. So why I cheated again? I cheated because I wanted to. I cheated because that's what my choice was. I cheated because you allowed me to. See, the first time I cheated on you, instead of you recognizing and seeing your own self-worth, your own values, your love, all that you have done, that you are the vessel to life, that queen is life, that you are everything, that you are the very reason why the sun is coming up this morning, that you actually birthed my seed and you put my son on this earth. I didn't give a damn about that, right? And you didn't give a damn about that because you gave me another chance. Now, I know some of you sisters out there are getting ready to say, you know what? I'm married. I give them a chance because that's what I was supposed to do. Wait a minute. That's kind of contradicting some things there because, see, we took vows. And I broke my vows. And I didn't give a damn about your vows that you took either. Okay? I did what I wanted to do. So it's not so much as you sisters who are married, who are engaged, doing what you want to do. It's doing what you should have done, and that's protect and save not only your sanity, your emotions, but your physical well-being as well. Because see, every time I go out there and I do my damn thing and I cheat because I want to, I have this obsession, this physical, this sexual addiction to another woman, okay? And in some cases, another man, I'm risking your health. But see, I don't give a damn about you, so I've decided to do what I want to do again. And see, you know what? I know some of you sisters are going to keep giving me an opportunity. You're going to keep giving me a chance because you keep showing me how lonely you are by giving me an opportunity each time. Each time we argue, we fight, we throw shit, we get into it, and you still end up loving me and you telling me that I ain't going to go nowhere and that we going to work this out. Although I may look like I'm mad, I'm really smiling in a cunning way on the inside because now I know I have your ass. I know I can do whatever the hell I want to do damn near. And I'm going to push your buttons because now there's a new obsession and there's a new fascination. And you have become that new obsession and that new fascination as into how far can I push this woman? I wonder how much she'll let me get away with. And if this woman is willing to subject herself to this type of anger, frustration, psychological effects, even possibly taking these physical and, and mental health risks, She's willing to do damn near anything, including continue to take care of me, continue to provide for me, continue to give me all of my sexual favors that I desire, all of my mental and all of my financial favors that I desire as well. See, again, you sisters, you have to be so much more than what you were being. So when you want to know why we are cheating and then why am I cheating again, it's because really nothing has changed 
since the last time I cheated, other than the fact that you gave me another chance and you showed me that I can do it again and again and again. You guys have a blessed morning. Look, this is Essex Shea with the Essex Shea Project. Continuously making these vlogs, trying to inspire and motivate, trying to get people to open up, man. Think outside to box and look at different situations in different ways. I always appreciate everybody listening, logging in, tuning in, viewing all of my videos, reposting, sharing, and making the best out of this project. I love every single one of you guys.